Hey everybody, welcome back. You know what time it is. Time for me to look at some of the most entitled brides and grooms of the month. Rant. Got married on Halloween. Hired a professional photographer. I'm getting frustrated with her because she's constantly posting self-help memes. No sneak peeks, no edited pictures. I just feel like she should be using her spare time editing my wedding photos, not posting dumb stuff on Facebook. Am I in the wrong for being upset about it? Yes, you are. I'm scared to message her asking the status of my pictures because I don't want her to get pissy and rush them and turn out bad. Any advice? I'm really trying hard to be patient, but I'm starting to get irritated. What makes you think that she's not editing your photos? She's clearly on her computer posting self-help memes because maybe she's, I don't know, going through something because not everything is about you. But what makes you think that she's not editing your pictures? People can multitask, especially when it comes to the internet. Also, why are you worried about asking her? If it's been a few days, maybe just ask. Not a big deal. I wouldn't get pissed off if someone asked me. I would get pissed off if it had been like a day or two after the wedding. But just ask, no biggie. So I've just made some inquiries into wedding venues here in blah, 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 to get the ball rolling on planning our wedding. We are going to ask our guests to pay for their seat, which is looking like 150 per head. The reason why we are going to do this is my husband and I aren't rich and I prefer to spend money on improving our house as well as paying our house off. We have all we need and do not require any gifts. All my husband cares about is that the food is high quality and then we have a beautiful wedding. Spending more than $10,000 we cannot justify on one day. I do hope our guests can understand and respect our reasons for doing our wedding like this. Plus, we know so many people and want our friends and family to be there and enjoy this once in a lifetime event with us. Oh, that is cute. Plus, both of us, mainly me being the bride, absolutely deserving the wedding of our dreams. We haven't picked a date yet, but aiming for some time in 2023 if it's available. This is a watch this space thing. Once I have pricing and numbers estimated, I'll be sending out a pre wedding invitation to see who wants to come and go from there, I guess. Never done this before, so it's all new to me. I can definitely understand not wanting to spend tens of thousands of dollars on one day, 100%. But there's something about asking your guests to pay for the wedding. That's a bit weird. I'm not weird. You're weird. You guys are being so weird. You can have weddings for way less money. It doesn't need to be super lavish. I don't really think it's about you spending it with your family and friends. I think it's about you wanting people to pay for your wedding because you don't want to pay for your wedding. Bridezilla is demanding her bridesmaid throw a new $30,000 wedding after she ruined her first. My now husband and I got married 1.5 months ago. We had six people on each side of the bridal party. This wedding took three full years to plan and prepare for. For. When I got engaged, most of the bridesmaids were very single, including Anna, the star of the story. Two of them were in long-term relationships. I wanted to just give the two partnered bridesmaids plus ones. Anna seemed offended by this because my wedding was then years off and she was actually dating her now husband at the time, though it was casual, not relevant. Didn't need to throw that in there. I eventually got pushed by my mother to give all of them plus ones. Anna actually continued to date that guy and married him four months before my wedding at two months pregnant. She brought her new husband as her plus one, who I never met prior, so? And convinced one of the other bridesmaids to take her friend as hers when she knew we didn't like him. She was hugely pregnant and didn't refrain from showing it off. How dare you? We were both fairly young, 25, and in my husband's culture, getting pregnant before the 20s, 30s, married or not, is basically teenage pregnancy and drew attention. She also has a vibrant personality and has a way of eclipsing everyone around her. Her husband is also very tall and incredibly attractive, which drew a lot of attention. Where is this going? All anyone spoke about or of was Anna's pregnancy and her attractive husband. Even in the line, people were asking about that electric woman and all of her pregnancy marriage life. When they got up to dance, all eyes were on them. Anna's friend ended up hooking up with my brother, outing him as gay and causing a huge scandal. I ended up leaving midway through the reception in tears and never attended the next morning's brunch. Anna and her entourage left early the next morning and also didn't attend. I can't even look at pictures without crying and desperately wanting a do-over. I'm not a bridezilla. <laughs> But this was beyond the pale. It felt like a celebration of Anna's marriage. I'm sorry, but I put so much planning, effort, and money into this, while someone that got pregnant without a thought and married spur of the moment reaped the benefits. I honestly feel like Anna owes me a wedding and did all of this as revenge for me offending her years ago. Am I wrong? Uh, yeah, I think I think you might be a little wrong. It sounds like you're super <laughs> jealous. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry that you were so upset about this that you felt that it ruined your wedding, but I highly doubt that everyone was only there only talking about your friend Anna. I think that you're just super jealous of her and her hot husband. <laughs> Like, wait, like, are we serious right now? Okay, so Reddit dubbed this person the a-hole 
Not surprising. You're the a-hole and I don't even know where to begin to explain why. I'm not a bridezilla is what every bridezilla says always. I also don't think any of this happened. That's quite possible. The biggest clue to me was the wedding took a full three years to plan followed by Anna owes me another wedding. <laughs> OP is overly obsessed with her own wedding. When you put something on a pedestal that high, it's always a disappointment. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. I also can't believe like people like OP exist. It's not Anna's fault she decided to live her life. You're, <laughs> I mean, yeah. So what is she supposed to do? Not get pregnant and not get married because you're getting married? Like that's so illogical. Your planning spawned three years without any consideration or expectation of possible changes within the people involved. Hello, time doesn't stand still just for you. That alone shows how self-centered you are. You are 100% a bridezilla. <laughs> I'd start with her being angry a woman's husband is tall and handsome. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, like the fact that that was included is really interesting to me. My favorite quote is she got pregnant without a thought and married spur of the moment. This Whole post reeks of jealousy and insecurity and is just sad all around. I'm not a bridezilla, but my bridesmaid's happiness ruined my day. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what she's saying. And she owes me a wedding. How do these people survive day to day in the real world is my question. I'm glad everyone agrees with me. It always makes me feel good when people agree with me. <laughs> Bridesmaid refuses bride's demand to trade necklaces and asks if she was a jerk. My friend, we'll call Mary, got married last week and I was in her bridal party. For context, we are friends from high school and all of her other bridesmaids were her friends from college who I hadn't met until her bachelorette party several months ago. I also wasn't familiar with anyone at this wedding outside of Mary's immediate family. I was supposed to attend the wedding with my own fiance, but he contracted COVID five days before we were supposed to leave and made the choice to stay home for everyone's safety. I tested negative. We didn't live together. Our fifth anniversary of our first date was two months ago and he got me a beautiful opal necklace on a gold chain specifically to wear to the wedding because it complimented my bridesmaid's dress. I asked Mary in our bridal party chat if she was all right with us wearing our own jewelry to the wedding. She said, no problem. Day of the wedding comes, all us bridesmaids and Mary meet early in the morning for pictures outside the chapel. Mary sees my necklace and loves it and actually asks if she could switch her necklace with mine. Some other bridesmaids chime in and said that it would be her something borrowed. Does anyone else hate it when people borrow their sh Especially their nice sh Oh my God, I hate it. I literally hate it. <laughs> I cannot stand it. <laughs> I'm already triggered, but that's just me. That's just like a, like I've had friends that borrow my things and like they give them back like ruined or like they don't give them back at all. You get it back like months later sometimes. And it's like, oh God, really? Anyways, that's just personally me. I would have an issue with that, but that's because I'm a little bit of a <laughs> I tried as politely as I could to tell her that my fiance got this for me to wear to the wedding. And especially since he can't be here, I'd like to keep it on. Mary and other bridesmaids were persistent saying it was her wedding and her pictures and I wasn't being accommodating, but I firmly told them no. Mary then said that I could at least take it off since it looked nicer than her own jewelry. Shut the f up. Dude, what the f What? That is insane. Again, I told her I'd rather not. Understandable. I'd like to share the wedding photos of myself in the necklace with my fiance. She was not happy. Neither of the bridesmaids were either. I received a lot of cold shoulders and dirty looks at the reception and ceremony. I felt awful. After the first dance, Mary's sister came up to me to tell me just how upset Mary was and rude it was that I upset her on her big day. Am I the a-hole? It's been more than a week and I'm still thinking about it nonstop and Mary hasn't answered my texts. What is with brides acting like they're entitled to everything because it's their wedding day? The bride isn't the asshole for asking to borrow the necklace, all right? I will give her that. She probably liked the necklace, it's a compliment. But telling the bridesmaid that she couldn't wear the necklace is super messed up. Like that, I don't even, like I know it's such a trivial thing, it's literally a necklace, but that is so weird. God. <laughs> It must have been a really nice necklace. Not the a-hole. You asked if you could wear your own necklace. Bride said yes. That's a good point. <laughs> she should have never asked for it. She shouldn't have never requested you take it off. If she's that concerned about a necklace and pictures, clearly she shouldn't be getting married. Pictures are to remember the day of the celebration, love and happiness. This is what I've been saying. It's not about a necklace. I was married in Jude. I don't remember what my bridesmaids hair looked like, their jewelry or even their shoes. What I remember are my best friends helping me get ready, celebrating with me and helping me through the emotional day. Honestly, it would take more than a seed sized necklace to pull attention away from me. The veil and white dress kind of stole the show. Anyone saying that you should have removed the necklace, I would never, no matter where I am, remove a sentimental piece of jewelry that I love for someone else. One, they are expensive. And two, it is comforting to me to wear them, especially in absence of my husband. Not the a-hole, the something borrowed needs to be a token lent willingly not something taken by force or pressure. Your friend was way out of line. It is something borrowed, not something extorted. <laughs> I tell you, man, I still get surprised doing these videos. And this is like the 50,000th one I've done. <laughs> so 
So I decided to be petty because why not? Some people RSVP to my wedding and didn't show up, costing my parents money for their seats. They told us they were coming and took advantage of the situation. Mind you, these people are adults. Also don't come to a wedding without at least bringing a card. If you choose to disrespect me and my family, fine. But just now, karma is right behind you. Thank you for nothing. <laughs> Oh my God. You know, normally I'm here for the pettiness. I can understand being angry if people don't show up after they RSVP for sure. <laughs> There's something about that happy face though. Oh, so passive aggressive. Engaged and now my friends are too. Okay, let me start by saying I'm not proud and I've tried hard to feel differently about this. I got engaged in January after being with my then boyfriend for three years. A few months after a close friend proposed to his girlfriend of maybe six months with almost an identical ring to mine that she picked out. And I'm not sure if I'm jealous because I'm truly happy with the way things are for myself and planning, but I can't help but be so overly annoyed with both of them. And now my fiance's best friend is proposing next month to his girlfriend of two years who was very vocal that she's mad that our friend of six months got engaged before her. I'm sorry, can someone help me not feel so alone in how I feel? I know, I think you're kind of on your own on that one, sorry. <laughs> Even if you do feel that way, like jealousy is a difficult emotion to feel, but like, aren't you happy for yourself? It starts with being happy for yourself, okay? It's not like you're the single one that's watching all of your friends get engaged. You are engaged. <laughs> are you not happy? What's really going on here? Usually jealousy stems from not being happy with yourself, so you can't be happy for other people. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got one more Am I the A-hole post. One more. It's a good one. Hey Reddit, throw away because in real life people know about my main account. One of my friends, Katie, fake name, is getting married soon, and while hanging out, she mentioned that she would be sending us her Venmo so that we could pitch in for the wedding. I was confused, so I asked her what she meant. She said that since she and her soon-to-be husband couldn't afford the wedding party, they were requesting people cash in as well. I come from a culture where parents usually pay for their kids' weddings, or sometimes the soon to be wed do it for themselves or borrow money, which they return. I was confused, and I, that's a good point. Why are all these people asking people to pay for the wedding when it could be like money that you borrow, you know? I was confused, and I asked Kate when she will return the money, because I really didn't think we were so close as that we could borrow money from each other, and she probably got offended or something over that. My other friend Maya, fake name again, who's also from my culture, then explained to me that it's apparently normal to chip in for your friend's wedding here. I don't know where here is, but I've never heard that of that tradition. I again got confused and somewhat offensive, asking if it's a wedding party, why do the guests need to pay? Kate got really mad and called me an ass for embarrassing her in front of everyone. Her fiance later called me to say I really hurt her feelings and now I am disinvited from the wedding. That's so sad. I'm wondering where I went wrong and if I was being ignorant, Maya is citing this to be some sort of culture shock. Am I the <laughs> a-hole? Edit info, we are in the US. <laughs> Reddit dubbed this person not the a-hole. The audacity of announcing your Venmo for people to have to pay for a party. The disinvite is a bonus. Now you don't have to throw money away on a gift either. I have never heard of a single culture where openly begging for money to host a wedding wasn't tacky and rude. Plan the wedding that you can afford. Can't afford a wedding celebration? Then get married without the party aspect. Really want the wedding of your dreams? Save up. Also, it's normal here to pitch in for a friend's wedding. <laughs> I've never heard of anyone asking their friends to pitch in for a wedding outside of these bride slash groomzilla posts. Again, it's news to me that people do this. I've seen people add a note that in lieu of gifts, money to help cover wedding costs would be appreciated, but it was made clear it was voluntary and confidential. Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving them money as well. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't mind like, because you are supposed to get a gift. You're supposed to get something, but yeah, like asking to help pay for the wedding is like in poor taste, I should think. Alrighty guys, those were the bridezillas and groomzillas of the month. Don't forget, the world don't owe you it. Subscribe! I got something that you